Hello, I'm Brad Blombeard, and today I'm going to do a little exploration in Old Iron Forge. Uh, just gonna look at, or in Iron Forge, gonna go to Old Iron Forge, and I'm also gonna start the Tyrian Forge Ring questline in Eastern Pluglands. Uh, a couple things that I never really did back in Vanilla. I was one thing I like to do in Classic is just to do those those simple things that existed back in vanilla but maybe i just never did them you know i i started playing vanilla pretty close to when burning crusade came out i probably I'm, i imagine i probably started around 2006 so on the tail end of vanilla like i never even got max level i think right now i'm level 56 i'm probably a level a little bit higher i think i was about 55 when i finished uh, my vanilla experience so the first thing I'm going to do is just like a really simple thing to get into Old Iron Forge that any hunter could do that has Eyes of the Beast. Um, I, I was just, I was in here looking around and I, you know, I knew that, say in retail, this door right here is just open, right? Uh, but it's been here ever since Vanilla and it's, it's unfinished right now. I mean, it's unfinished even retail. It's just like one guy you can talk to. And there's a variety of ways that you can get through this, but uh, something that I just, I'm sure that other people have found this, but a simple thing that you can do to start looking in there is you just run forward at the door until you get your pet to go through it, and then you just cast Eyes of the Beast. Okay, now I'm in Old Iron Forge, basically. Uh, it helps to have some form of dash or dive to help you go fast to explore, because you're kind of on a clock if you're using... Eyes of the Beast. Uh, but you can see Old Iron Forge here, you know? Look at the... My stairs here, and... Just the... Interesting, shiny crystals. Like, I have no idea what's going on, really. Uh, I mean, there's several ways you can do this. You can have, like, a... If you can get feared or sheeped, you can do that. Like, I don't even know what's... What's really down here? I'm just kind of exploring a little bit to see, see what all we can do. Going down here, and then, like, I guess this is about it. Oh, gonna be a burn pet. Oh no, the lava doesn't do damage. Okay, but well, that's uh, that's old Iron Forge. Just I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I thought to to go down in there and see what's going on. So, wait, what is, this guy's got a quest? What is this guy's quest? So we'll go on to uh, Eastern Pluglands here in a moment. You got my attention. Pluglands, Featherman Stronghold. What is the new frontier? Oh, that must be... Uh, Off with you. See you soon. Silithus stuff. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about Silithus. I know that uh, it's, it's the current thing, right? I, I know that there's... A, Excellent trinket that you can get from doing stuff over there. Grind it out. Uh, so, I mean, that that could be a thing that I want to do when I get to level 60. Because I don't know how much time I'll have for raiding and whatnot. Let's go ahead and start flying over to Western Pluglands, and then I'll start doing uh, Eastern Pluglands. I know I did a, like a little bit of Western Pluglands in, say, Cataclysm. You know, they have the whole like. Uh, the whole quest line with the caravan from the, the Paladins and the Worgen, you know? Oh. How's that on there? Uh, and I thought that was kind of neat, you know? That was. Was that in Western and Eastern Pluglands? I actually can't remember. I think that was Eastern Pluglands, right? And uh, the Cataclysm altered zones because the Western Pluglands was more like the Druids were actually rejuvenating it, right? And the Eastern Pluglands, you went through and had the caravan that you followed. I never got very far on it. You went to like the different towers. I, I you level up so fast <laughs> in um, catac the Cataclysm zones, right? Like the Cataclysm version that it's like you don't even have time to like complete a zone. I actually. In, re in the retail WoW experience, as an experienced player who hasn't actually done every single zone, even because some zones just have been better to do than others, right? 
So doing doing all the quests in his own, I kind of like that. I kind of like that stuff scales with you. So if you want to actually just go ahead and complete Eastern Pluglands, like you can do it. If you want to complete all the starter zones, you can do that. I think that for an experienced player who maybe has preferences or maybe has done some zones and not others, I, I, I did like the sc level scale from that perspective. Now, of course, there are other perspectives, right? Like every single change that that happens it, it has pluses and minuses so there's one thing like if you start in a zone right and like like think about how things are done in in vanilla right like take take stranglethorn veil right so maybe you start stranglethorn veil and you can do some of the quests around level 30 right and then you've got the the higher level quests that you can't really touch yet but maybe you come back in a few levels and you can do it, right? But that doesn't, like, that sense of progression of, like, okay, I'm a little bit stronger now, so now I can go back to those quests I couldn't do before. Like, that that sense of progression is ruined if you have this scaling leveling, right? Uh, and that's that's something that... That I can, I can certainly see some people would not want to have happen, right? Now, there's no sense of, like, really getting stronger because everything is always your level like you can't just go back to a place and be like oh well i can just knock out these quests right so in the the vanilla experience in the classic experience if i if i am going to a place with green quests i can just i know mobs will be easy uh maybe like the experience gain will be slightly less but it'll be really quick easy simple and in fact like for some classes, like say warrior, like you really want to be hitting all the green quests. Because the the difference in your level with those weapon skills and such, you want to be doing green quests so that you can actually hit mobs, right? If you're a warrior doing like orangish quests, like that's problematic. Now as a hunter I'm a hunter, so as a hunter uh, it's not too big of a deal. You can do some orange quests, and you can even do red quests if you want to spend the time. Uh, it's really like a question of time, not necessarily are you able to do it a lot of the times. I mean, if you're out there trying to do red quests, and you, your pet cannot tank one mob, and you're you're having to kite every single mob, okay, that's that's going to take a really long time, right? Like, you can do it. You can absolutely do it, but it's going to take a very long time. And in some cases, you may not even be able to do it. Like, say you couldn't clear out enough space to, to kite something, but that, that's possible. But, uh, you know, I... And the the way the leveling works now... and I, 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 That is kind of one interesting thing, say, about Shadowlands, to see the... They're supposed to squish the levels, right? I think that... It could... It could it's, I think it has potential. It certainly has potential. Because the way that leveling works in retail now, last time I leveled something was in BFA, and it's just like, it's so quick. Every level is almost meaningless. I mean, I mean, if we're completely honest, then a lot of the levels in Classic are kind of meaningless. Like, you get maybe some new spells. Uh, you might... Oh, do I have my Argent Dawn commission? I don't. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I'm just gonna say it's not worth it. Need help? See you around. To go back and get it, because I already flew here. No. I'm just gonna start the Tyrion quest line. Let's just go do that. He's somewhere in eastern Plaguelands, like up the over here. And that's appropriate, right? Because I know the, like, the Ashbringer hidden artifact skin, you know, you come over here, very similar. I just, I mean, just leveling in retail right now, it's it's so fast. And, and I mean, as I was saying, the, the leveling, if, if you, every time you level in Classic, you do get a little stronger. It's easier to hit things, there's less resists. And that, that portion is, like, always relevant. When I was referring to... It may not be that big a deal when you level in Classic. What I was really referring to is like you get one talent point, right? And your skills get a little bit stronger. 
uh, your spells rather like usually it's not too big of a deal oh you know what I should see uh, I have my owl when's the next level of screech just need to look at that real quick because um, I'm level 56 I'm not sure if it's 56 or 57 when the highest level of screech is 56 in Eastern Plaguelands! But I need to stable my pet <laughs> if I'm gonna do that. If I wanna keep the same low, uh. Is there's, there wouldn't happen to be a. a, um. stable master here, would there, in this little camp? That would be nice. There's no inn. So I'm kinda. thinking there might not be. What is a level 32 doing? What is he doing? What are you doing? <laughs> uh... No thanks. Good luck. He's doing SM armor. <laughs> I I didn't realize that, but yeah, I guess so, right? There's like that awkward kind of awkward space where you have to come up through here if you want to want to get up there, huh? The first and I guess it's all. I do remember for Alliance, it is a bit of a pain to get to Scarlet Monastery. I do always remember when I played Horde, it was like. Oh, you just go to Undercity and it's right there. But here, it's like, what is this? Where's the nearest stable master? Urgh. Like, I kind of want to be efficient. But at the same time, I'm thinking, like, I don't know when I'm going to be able to find this thing to tame it. Yeah. Greetings. Scholomance. Scholomance? Sholomance? Scholomance? I do not know. I don't know. How do you say this word? I'm sure you. Sh it should be indicated, especially with all the Hearthstone stuff, right? Is it Scholomance? Because Sco it's like a school? Scholomance? I remember back in the day, all my friends always used to call it Sholo, right? Like, as if it was German. Sholo. But, uh... I don't know what the correct answer is. I think it probably is Skullamance, but, uh... I don't remember looking at, like, say, the material on... The Hearthstone, when that Hearthstone expansion released. I haven't played Hearthstone a long time. Like, uh... I played a like a couple rounds of Battlegrounds whenever those were released, just to kind of see what was going on. Cause I like I know I know I like to watch like say an old crib. I like to watch him, and he plays a lot of Battlegrounds these days, right? So I was like, okay, like I'll see Battlegrounds, I'll see what's up. I played it on my phone. It was a difficult experience, especially at that particular time. It was like, uh. The, the time it took to do things, each action took a really long time, so that was difficult to kind of cope with. You know, it's like, oh, my turn's over and I didn't even get to do anything. That's not fun. Although my understanding is that they kind of reduced that on the mobile front. So. But, like, think about, like, oh my, really, fella? Oh, resisted my feign dead. Okay, guys, okay. All right, we'll do it. You got it. Like, I mean, you know, somebody wants to rumble. You know, we'll do it. Okay, no questions asked. All right, that's a big skeleton, man. It's probably good 
Cause that, yeah, that's the summoner guy. That's that wasn't exact. That wasn't really the direction I wanted to go. Scarlet Hound. But like, think about what happens when you level up any given level in uh, retail right now. Like, it just does. It means like almost nothing. Like, you you can't do anything different than you could do before your talents they that's every 15 levels right and you know in general you know obviously there's ex exceptions for death knights and demon hunters but in general when you level up like it's only every 15 levels that you even get a talent point now okay if I get one talent point, like, look at my talents. Which ones are really significant for, like, one point? Like, this, even with five points, is like, eh. These are pretty okay. These are all right. I'd say, like, these are actually probably the most impactful talents, leveling talents in the, in, in, for hunters, right here. Increased movement speed by 6% basically all the time when you're moving around. Think about when you're this level, right? When you're level 20 and you get Aspect of the Cheetah and you're using it to get around everywhere and then you can have the increased move speed, that's excellent. You're almost a druid, right? With their 40%. And you're at 36. Bestial Swiftness? 30% increased move speed for your pets when you're basically when you're leveling because almost all your Encounters are outdoors when you're leveling. I guess you, you'll, you'll probably do like some instances, sure, but it's not like a huge amount. Like, this is the real tier for leveling. This is when you really start to improve. But, like, these first ones are kind of, eh, you know, like, it's, it's good. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's not super impactful. This one's pretty nice. Let's just do, start actually getting some damage on your pet. This is also ramps up the damage. Intimidate. Intimidate's the first, like, well, aside from bestial swiftness, is is one of the only ones where you're like, wow, that's really nice to have, like, one talent point really have an impact. Tyrion's up here, right? By this cave. Tyrion has so much stuff for the for the paladins, you know. I uh, played a prop paladin for a long time. I mean, I, I, I've played prop paladin since... Burning Crusade, whenever... Because I started out as Horde. Well, very, very first started off as, like... I think my very, very first character was an Alliance Dwarf Paladin. Uh, and then I had, like, a Dwarf Hunter, and I did do... I got to, like, level 40 on my Dwarf Hunter. And then after that, my friends were like, Oh, hey, let's switch servers. Let's go to this other server. And I went, we're like, hey, we're going to all play Horde. So I like, okay. And so that's when I played, started playing Horde. And I played Horde from vanilla onto Cataclysm, and that's when I switched to Alliance. Uh, but naturally, as I was playing Horde, when I was playing Horde and vanilla, there were no Paladins, right? But whenever BC uh, came out, I did immediately make, you know, a Blood Out Paladin. And I mean, I remember the servers... The servers were toast, right? Like, they were, they could not handle it. Anybody who played on Burning Crusade release, and it was just a nightmare, right? You're going through there, and it takes forever to do any single action. Bro, this guy looks like he's gonna die. Like, <laughs> he's got no health. Bro, bandage or something? Are you serious? You're a rogue. Like, I don't know. I. Okay, good. I was like, this is not right. Hey, Tyrion. You look like a normal guy, except you have a shiny weapon. No, uh. Tabard of the Silver Hand. I know, I know at this point he's exiled from the Order. I'm, I am aware, but. This is this is like an experience. He's such an integral part of like Paladins and the you know Wrath of the Lich King campaign where he plays a huge part. Of course, when he goes against the Lich King, he's the one who actually vanquishes him. And 
know, from then on, he's pretty involved, right? And then he just gets wrecked in Legion, just annihilated from a... I mean, the guy who does it is a boss later, but it's like, what? Like, this is it? Oh, man. And, like, the Lich King wants to resurrect him, but they don't let it happen. Mm, okay, what are we doing? That's a lot of dudes, man. 25. Carrying grubs. Harvest their meat. This is gonna... This is good. This is actually great, because this is, uh... You know, the only thing that would be nicer, Tyrion, is if you could be a stable master, so I could stable my pet and uh, learn Screech. That would be nice. What am I gonna do? Like, I, I like the Grey Owl, because uh, I, I named him Ingtar. Ingtar after Ingtar Shinawa and uh, Wheel of Time, favorite book series of all time for me. And Ingtar uh, Shinawa's uh, emblem is a gray owl. So having a gray owl pet, like, that's perfect. There's nobody in real time that has a white owl that I know of. I like white owls. I like the look a lot. It's almost enough to make me paint it, but I think thematically the the, the Wheel of Time reference is just on point, right? I don't know if anybody would realize this. And my, my character's name, Gellius, is actually supposed to be a, 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 a play on Elias, the uh, wolf brother that Perrin meets, right? Who is a... I mean, if you were going to say which class would Elias be in World of Warcraft, 100% it would be a hunter, right? Like, no question. Uh, runs with wolves and... Uh, has a big, a big beard. I don't know if you've ever read that, but that is definitely emphasized that he has that great big old beard there. Okay. Uh, do these fear or anything? I'm I'm a bit a bit concerned about that because I I think I did remember hearing people say something along those lines that the plague bats would uh, fear and have like really nasty uh, debuffs. Yeah, there's the fear. Like that's that's just rude. Okay. I think he's gonna have. I think my pet will have aggro. No. Like an intimidate isn't that powerful. So we'll just be doing this for a while. Tender wolf meat. That's nice. I'll just feed that to my pet right now. Cause it doesn't give. Cause seventeen point five. I've had my pet out for a little while, so he's losing happiness. But. I don't. Does this place? Does this zone have uh, thorium? I would imagine so, right? But I, there's probably like bots everywhere getting it anyways. And some people have said like it's good to uh oh look a paladin. Man. With a shield! Oh my god, what What a patient person he must be. You have to be a patient person to play a prop paladin. I just like the alliteration. A prop paladin. Um Can we go further? Can we go any further? Uh, a prop paladin. Uh, preying on plague bats, right? Eh, the last one's a stretch. If there, I need, I need a verb that starts with P. That's that's the real issue here. I need a new, I need a new weapon. Too bad Arsparp spear can't be obtained if you get the crossbow. Like I'm super happy with the crossbow. But yeah, I mean, Gellius, I mean, Elias would definitely be a hunter. He's got that big beard. He's got the whole small Thorium. Okay. He's got the whole uh, runs with wolves things. And of course, you can tame wolves, which is excellent. And you know what? Wolves are not terrible, okay? They're just not, they're just not the best for a lot of things. But one thing that wolves are great for is a uh, Dire Maul Tribute. Can I get up there? Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, that one is close. Oh, we're gonna do it. Come on. Really, game? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's just <laughs> sometimes if you if you real if you're really clicking that that space bar if you're really 
mashing it, you can you can get make some magic happen, but uh, it wasn't meant to be that time, unfortunately. Am I gonna pull all those plague bats? I hope not. He looks okay. He's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. Get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Cast my aim shot. You know, you just get a little bit closer each time. And uh, that's fine. And I changed my keybinds a little bit so that my... Uh, so I, I, I did make a keybind for my trinket specifically. Because I, I actually didn't have one before. Specifically for the trinket, I was just clicking it. And that's not really ideal. Oh my gosh, this... This fear is actually quite irritating. I don't know if I want to try to do multiple of these mobs. Because it gets my, it fears my pet and me. And even though my pet is immune to it for a time, it's still not like permanently or anything. But I made a keybind for my trinket and it's right next to my bestial wrath keybind. So I just, um, I do Oh yeah, just a note on my keybinds, like I use, uh, was it, ESDF as like my home buttons, right? And I, I did this after listening to, uh, uh, Smooth McGrew was playing World of Warcraft and he mentioned how ESDF is what he used. It took me a long time to get used, it, to get used to ESDF instead of WASD for moving around. It took me a long time. I, I was super used to WASD. And the way he was talking about it made it seem like uh, <laughs> like it would not be too bad. It did take me. like I mean, to be fair, I was only playing like an hour at a time at that time. So like if you play more, then it'll be less of an issue for you. But it took it did take me like a week to really be start getting comfortable with uh, ESDF. But you use ESDF to move and then you have more space around to do your keybinds. Do I even have Grout on? Like, <laughs> it almost doesn't feel like it, right? My, uh, my owl's really having a hard time keeping aggro here. But this is about the time when, when that'll happen. So he's 55, I'm 56. So he's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll hit things more often than my pet will. Get that in here. Now, when he's big and red, it really shouldn't be much of an issue. But whenever he's uh, not big and red, it, it's a bit problematic. Because if I get like a nice aim shot crit, or even not a crit, that was like that was literally not even a crit right there. And it's still, still lost aggro. Oh man, that what is, what is going on there? That was a very long time to. Oh, this is so sloppy right here. Uh, yeah, we'll drink. So sloppy. Oh, no. my my pet's fifty five. I'm fifty six. So he'll kind of struggle to hold aggro. Uh, this is the like the last last growl, isn't it? Uh, unfortunately, I think that's true. You know, there's just a point where your pet can't tank anymore. Uh, your pet's just not gonna hold aggro, it just will not. If you're going full bore, you know, use an aim shot. Uh, aim shot and multi shot, really focusing something, it's, your, your pet just can't hold aggro at a certain point. There's not really a whole lot you can do about it. Except being patient, I suppose. Like, you can, you can wait, right? Just, just, literally just wait. If I, if I put a trap down, is it gonna... Yeah. That's kinda cool to know. I'm trying to... Maneuver my way over here. Okay. 
There we go. See if we can just get... Just constantly, I want to constantly be using both my... Uh, melee and swing... Uh, auto shot swing timers, essentially. There we go. That's the first meat I got. See, this, this disease... Uh, this disease was mentioned, I think. Yeah. 30 minutes on that. Reducing... I'll just go ahead and stone farm that. There's a gargoyle. Don't really care about the gargoyles. There are some diseases, apparently, in Eastern Pluglands that are really bothersome. That, uh... Oh, okay. That you might actually want to have the uh, improved min pet for. Like... If you're thinking about... There's like a... a there comes a point in the... Beast mastery leveling process where you, you essentially have like an extra point to spend on something. And it's not really. There's like a few options and none of them are like amazing. Yeah, let's just faint death. Oh man, just a little bit too far away. But one thing that you can't. I put it in Spirit Bond, which is like, eh, it's, it's pretty minimal. Healing percent. Evil Bat's Eye. What is that? What's that for? 20 cells for 20 silver. Some people were saying, like, just farming these and skinning these is, like, a decent source of uh, gold. The bats. But there's some debuffs here that are pretty bad. I mean, it lasts half an hour. I think there's one that reduces, say, attack speed. And attack speed being reduced on your pet's pretty bad because means less frenzy uptime. Less frenzy uptime means less damage. Let's see if I can get any good. Uh, pretty disappointed my owl's not getting aggro on this guy. Like, like I didn't even do... I did like one aim shot, you know? Like kicking those... your face in the wrong way. Errors. The, it's, I'm, I'm really feeling like if you do a melee attack specifically, not Raptor Strike, because Raptor Strike I don't have this problem as much, but if you do a melee attack, even if you hit like the melee attack macro when you're in melee range, sometimes it skips a beat and it doesn't do it right away. When it's Raptor Strike, I feel like it always does it right away. But I feel like if you're trying to do melee weaving, and uh, you rely on uh, a macro that that is gonna do a melee attack and a raptor strike, not actually not in that order, in the reverse order, sorry. Like it doesn't work very well uh, when it's only the the melee attack for some reason. Get in here, Al, please. Stun, 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 stun. Thank you. It's like what? Hmm. Actually, my my weave times were pretty low on those. I'm surprised by that. Wicked claw. Not worth anything. Bad ear, not really. Large bat thing. Yeah, the the tra the like vendor trash that's on these, pretty decent, I would say. In terms of their their sale value, so I can see why some people might well would suggest. Is there any other mob around here? It's always good if I can. I want to get like two mobs going so that I can put my trap down and be using um, the melee attack constantly. See, like, I didn't... That wasn't, like, too much, right? Like... I feel like my owl is really starting to struggle here. I'm really starting to do more damage than my owl can keep up with, unfortunately. My aim shot, I'm just too strong, you know? Just too strong. Aim straw is just too much damage. 
I mean, aim, it's, it's, it is a fair amount of burst, right? It's auto shot, aim shot, auto shot, multi shot, and then a uh, raptor strike. Like, that's. Like, let's be real here. That's a lot of damage, right? Coming at you at once. So. And what's my owl doing, like, in that time frame? Like, uh. Probably. Three autos, two screeches, and a growl, something like that. You know, not not a lot. Mine or my pet can get that. Get him! He got him, right? Pretty sure he did. Oh, I was like, what? I was really confused for a moment. I was like, why did my pet? Why is my pet running away? Like, did the did something happen? No, it's just. Okay, get this going over here. Man, that fear is just so irritating. There it goes. Yeah, yeah. This is a. Uh... Uh, is that gonna be? That seems like it's gonna be a bit of a pain to get to you. But it'll be fine. We'll get there. I wonder what is the evil bat I used for? Is it? I mean, it's it, the vendor. It, the market value is very close to the uh, vendor sale price, so I imagine it's probably not used in too much. That's desirable. Let me just look it up real quick while I'm eating evil bat I Classic. Drop by objective. Objective of. Oh, Dark Moon Fair. Okay. Yeah, I've never really. I, I never did. I don't think I did anything ever with the vanilla Dark Moon Fair. Not a single thing, to my knowledge. You know, the Dark Moon Fair in retail. I think the Dark Moon Fair in retail is pretty cool, actually. Pretty nice. Like, it's got some fun little mini games and several mounts and uh, toys and pets. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, but I don't know, is, it, is there buffs? Certainly buffs. I know the buffs. People, because, you know, I read the Hunter Classic Discord and people are trying to see how to do damage, so the buffs are naturally going to come up in that situation. There's buffs, there's some uh, card decks. I don't know if they're any good. I don't think they're any good for hunters, at least. Where is everything? Cool. Killing all the stuff, man. Let me kill some stuff. Is that thing running away from something, or...? Can't tell. i not sure, like, maybe if it had aggro or on something, or was resetting. Go in here, get that off. See, like... That... I feel like that... Was a bit off. Like, that, that could have been okay. Uh, for the melee attack, but it just didn't work out. What is this? That's probably a quest thing, because that's weird looking. What is this? Mithril? Oh. But I mean, that's like, there's no, there's no zone that's only Thorium, right? Mithril's just not worth that much, really. Is that guy just stuck in place? Thorium's not worth that much either, honestly. I mean, I think it gets botted to all get out, right? Like, it just it, that there's bots out there mining all the thorium and all like the black lotus, so uh, the prices are just really low compared to say what you might expect if they weren't getting farmed and 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 not only farmed, but I mean literally like botted. Like, it's just. Oh, why did why wasn't I able to use my aim shot? I guess I was moving or something. Got two big red things going. The rat, the the bat's pretty big and red already. Okay, got some of these uh 
zombies, some troll boys over here. My thought was I could just uh, kind of stay towards the mountains to try to hopefully. Oh, am in combat. Oh, this this thing's hitting me. Okay, I was like, what? Oh, is that? Yeah. Man, if you get pushback. Okay, I don't like this situation very much. I don't, I don't really like what's going on here. No, actually, stay on stand, like that's fine. If you get that pushback, it it adds a lot of time on a uh, onto aim shot. I think I will go ahead and feign death. Look at that. Look at that. Excellent. Coming out of feign death, instantly casting auto shot. I was looking at the Hunter Classic Discord, and I was wondering on there. Uh, there's like a, a delay. If you come out of feign death, you come out of feign death, and. You cast any if you do anything other than cast auto shot, there's a delay. So there was a a, a weak aura and a and a add-on with a macro solution. Like a whole lot of work went into it. To try to make something that you could just spam so you could uh, swap trinkets quickly, basically, because you can you can replace your gear when you leave the combat from Fain Death, which is something very unique. Like no other class can do that. Only hunters can do that, right? What? 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 I heard like a flamey noise. Don't know what that is. Slab of carrion worm meat. Okay, so my pet probably won't eat that. <laughs> Is he still gaining happiness from this? Yes. Okay. Is, is there any way, like, through these mountains? No. Okay. Just looking around here for there, if there's any more animals or anything to mine. Uh, there's, like, a gargoyle. I wonder if, like, the gargoyle has a shared spawn with these. I'm gonna pull this up here a little bit. Oh, there's more over there. Okay. Oh, the dude got me. Well, you know what? That's alright. It just means I get to, I get to melee him. There we go. And then I'll have intimidate. Intimidate will give him enough threat, hopefully, to stay on while I do my melee weaving and stuff. Hmm. This seems like a waste of mana. Ooh, but seeing that 966 crit, it just feels so good. Who would say no to that? Prevents health regeneration? Does it really? Does it? No, it does not prevent health regeneration on my pet. That is false. Right? Pretty sure I saw it tick. Yeah. It, it prevents something. It looks like a... It looks like it's just maybe spirit bond that it's that is still going off, not the normal like big regeneration that I get. Yeah, this same shot's gonna be worth it, right? Okay, doing a lot of drinking uh, on these guys because they're fairly high level, so they do take more. Resources. If if they ha if they're low level, if they have less HP, then I don't have to use as many abilities, and then I'm using. I actually have like more travel time. Oh, I probably didn't need a drink right there, to be honest, because 
I'm gonna leave this little area and I'm probably just gonna like run around. There may not act there may not actually be anything that I find that I attack for a while, so my mana reach in, but it's start kick kicking in. Like my melee weaving times a little bit. The it's kinda difficult to really understand these times to a certain extent. Um I don't know. Because Part of them are when I'm doing this situation, and when I'm doing this, it's not really fair to compare that to a situation where I'm actually like trying to melee weave a single target. Because this right here, I can I can be attacking constantly. Whereas when I when I actually melee weave on a single target. There's no way I'm gonna be able to attack constantly like that. So I have all these green times and even a blue time. And that's just a function of me being able to just attack. Have one mob in front of me the whole time. And those weird things, man. What is this guy? Come on over here. There we go. Okay. But the, you know, with the max range, you know, the uh, Hawkeye talent, you can attack pretty far away. So you can usually get uh, another mob over to you to melee. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain, but usually it's not too bad. Hit him. There. What are you doing? Okay. Just going, going back for the melee again. Like, I hit, I hit like two mobs and I'm just running out of all my resources. Like, I really, I'm really, I'm really feeling like a mage right now and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. One thing that's nice about a hunter is you can just kind of do whatever. You don't have to use like a lot of consumables or whatever when you're going in. I'm trying to, I'm out of mana, so I'm just trying to be real precise on my melee weaving right here. Ooh, just barely not, barely not getting it. So many debuffs here, man. Some that. A, a really bad debuff, like the one that gar Gargoyle put on that prevented their regeneration and was like doing damage just for a long time. That's just really irritating because I can't. It makes it makes it so you can't feed your pet. You know. I love my bird. I want him to have food. I'm killing a lot of beasts, so I do get a lot of uh, meat, which is good. I can constantly feed my pet if he doesn't have the debuff. Like you can still get a tick or two off whenever. The debuff is on, certainly, but it's just, you know, it's real inefficient with respect to uh, your input there. The Maris st Stead? I believe it's Stead, right? Not Steed. Okay, one more. I think this aim shot will go off. It did, but it didn't have to. <laughs> That could have just been. Did did he finish eating? Just trying to keep track of my pet happiness, basically. Is there is there an add-on that really tells you like like quantifies in numbers uh, your pet's happiness? So I'm talking something like, it would say like, oh, your pet is currently at like 500 happiness, and then it like counts down. Because you could do it, right? You should be able to do it. Like if you, if you feed your pet something, 
uh, and they get to max happiness, you should be able to know how much happiness they have. Absolutely. Because it, I mean, I know. Like, okay, if I feed my pet right now some of this tender wolf meat, it's like feeding him 20 silver down the drain, and I go to my combat log, and it says 17.5, 17.5, I'll just keep an eye on it for a little bit. 10.6, okay. So when it gets to like 0.7, that's how you know it's at max happiness. And it loses like 0.7 every so many seconds. Are there any other mobs around here I can get while I'm doing this? See, like, I mean, it just, it just does, it does happen that sometimes when you're leveling, ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and faint because that is just, I got had quite a bit of health. I don't want to just be meleeing him down that whole time. I just feign. Just cost a little bit of mana. Mana for health, basically. Mana regenerates a bunch faster than health. Oh, there we go. But there, are, there are definitely times it's like, where, where? If I want to get another enemy. To come with me so that I can constantly be meleeing one. Like, I'd have to go all the way over there. That's just like, that's too far. Like, it's definitely doable, you can do it. But it's gonna, ooh, that fear. It's gonna take a long time to get over there. And if it takes a long time to get over there, it doesn't really seem worth it, right? Like, fortunately, I got a slow weapon. So it won't take, it won't be like, I guess, too bad. Because if you have a fast weapon, then you have very little time to like spend like moving in between shots, because your wind up's constantly going off. Uh, does it matter which one of these I go for first? I don't know. Come here, come here, big boy. Wormy boy. That was bad. There we go. Get the basic. Like these guys are close by, so it's very easy to do this. But there, there, and this is this is absolutely ideal. This is what you want to have happen. Well, maybe with more mana, right? But doing this. Oh, come on, come on, fella. Work with me here. Will my pet get aggro by the time that this thing dies? Looks like the answer is no. And I'm just kind of letting my, letting my mana regen because the I don't I feel like the the time that it's taking to do that is going to be so high. So like here's here are two guys. They're I don't have any cooldowns. Okay. I I, I definitely want to drink after this one if I can. Because there are a lot of dudes up here. There are a lot of enemies. I felt like that... Oh man, I thought that was like a good final melee weave, but it looks like it was actually not. Not very good at all. Over three seconds is not good to me. Other people... I don't, I don't know... I don't know... How, people, how well people do, but three seconds feels like a pretty long time. Okay. Uh, look how fast that little dude is. Wow. He's a fast guy. Uh, should I? I'm wondering if I should use my cooldowns right now, but I feel like the answer is probably no. Because I... I'm already, you know, I was already probably worked through like half the health that these guys have in total. So there you go. So just relax, guy. Just relax. I'll take care of you. Okay. There's that paladin again. Uh, is is there any way to get two guys right now? Like, there's a bat, and there's a bat. 
I can attack a bat pretty far away, so... I guess we'll do it. Oop. Oop. Getting feared all day, every day. Oh, don't really like that. Okay, there we go. My pet is also attacked and is also afraid now. Excellent. There we go. Get the the whole thing in there. Get a multi shot that hits both, which is great. I love that. And then I got the <clears throat> melee off as well. Have a little drink. I feel like I should always feed my pet when I do that, but I keep forgetting. Because my pet... Oh, what is that? That guy is big. Duskwing. Mm. He is a big, big boy. Mm, okay. get, get the action started here. Uh, see, the Raptor Strike wasn't ready, so whenever I went in there, the melee didn't work very well. I feel like, uh, I, one thing I definitely want to do is I want to be practicing on the Dire Maul tribute. Uh, well, in Dire Maul, I want to work, practice on the Gordok spirits that are in there, in Dire Maul North. Because, then you can really practice your melee weaving for like a long time, focused. And right now, it's like, this is not really focused. It's, it can be difficult to analyze the problem because there's too many, there are so many variables occurring at the same time. And that's not what you want. If you're trying to solve a problem in like a scientific way, a uh, systematic way rather, using science, uh, you want there to be, if you're trying to find the cause of something, I guess, maybe would be the better way of saying it. If you want to find the cause of something, you need to reduce the amount of variables that you're looking at. And whenever I'm doing it like this, there's a lot of variables. And also it just takes a lot of time. Like, I'm constantly look going and doing other things. Mm. Mm. I see two bats here. I'm gonna try to wrangle them together. Get my cooldowns going. Ooh, I, I really did that poorly. I uh, definitely could have handled that better by doing... No! Okay. I almost did a classic hunter move and accidentally pulled another enemy. Not what I want at all. Hmm, those fears. I'm running out of health. Hit him! Oh. There we go. It gets a bit spooky sometimes. Like, I was at 75% health and mana, and going against two mobs was uh, with cooldowns was still difficult. So that's something to think about when I'm doing these. Here's one. I feel like that guy, I would like to go get... Yeah, I'll, I'll pull those together. Like, I, I would like to go get that guy. But that is just far away. No! Okay, that, that, was, that felt pretty delayed there, that Raptor Strike. It did go off, but I think it went off not for a good reason, <laughs> I would say. Like, it went off because I was there too long, not because I did the right thing. I, 
I'm trying this out with tab. I don't usually do this with tab. Normally when I do this going back and forth, I was just clicking. But the tab does seem to be working pretty well. I just kite this last little bit, I feel like, because uh seems like the last bit. My pet always has some problems getting aggro after the intimidate, whereas before the intimidate would oftentimes be enough. I wonder if all these enemies, the grubs and demon dogs and bats, I wonder if they all share the same spawn pool. I kind of feel like the answer could be yes, but I don't, I don't know. I don't really have any strong evidence to back up that claim. Yeah, let's just... Let's just go ahead and use my cooldowns. I mean, they're up. I don't know how long it's going to be before I find another enemy, so... Just go, just go out all, all out. Just this one time. That's a pretty bad, pretty bad melee weave. 4.3. That's... What is this? Ooh, Blood of Heroes. That spawns elites, right? Like a few elites? Like three elites or something like that? I don't I'm not gonna click on it. <laughs> All I know is that this is a trap. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It's not. I don't have a quest for it. I don't know. Eventually, you need it for something, but I don't even know if it's. Is it like for Ragnaros, Sulfuros, or something like that? I don't know what it's for. I know it's for something like pretty neat, but what for exactly? I don't know. And see, like right here, I'm as I'm. Looking around, I'm looking to see if there's any guys that are close by, but there's nobody like really close to this. <sighs> like I really felt like that melee should have gone off, but ooh, just a little bit off. Ooh, nice crit. So now I've got no mana. We'll go ahead and just drink a little bit. Do my mage mage impression of drinking after every other mob or whatever they do. Of course, a mage, when it gets high enough level, can just AoE farm, right? You don't have to do this piddly one at a time business. Oh, there's several mobs here. Uh, yeah. I wonder if that'll pull that owl. Or a bat. Kind of thinking so. There it is. Yes, it did, it did indeed pull the bat. I wonder if my aim sh uh, multi shot is going to pull the bat. Yes! Oh no! That's. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of. The... Why? Why? Uh, okay. Actually, can we get this guy off me too, please? Just, uh, yeah. There we go. He was doing too much damage! He was hurting me! That was... Three mobs and... It was almost too much. I don't like that. Hmm. Don't like all these debuffs. Don't like. Don't really like what's happening here at all. Need to get in there and do some melee. There we go. Need to do real tight and not mess it up. Do the maximum DPS because my pet is actually almost dead. Okay. Man, that was, that was like three mobs. I used cooldowns, all my cooldowns, and uh, it was actually pretty close. Actually pretty close, yeah. That's not good. I, at least I haven't got any of the super bad debuffs. Like, that's not good. Melee attack power reduced by 50. Here, have a bandage. That's. That's bad. It was at, I think it was at 1337 for a second. My health health. 
you know? That's pretty late, right there. Uh, yeah. Check that. Man, traps take so long to go off. I'm always like thinking, did that go off? And a lot of times the answer is actually yes, but it just, it, it seems like the answer will be no. Get him off me. There. There we go. Those uh those guys drop drop their thing pretty rarely, the 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 worm meat. Plague plant plague hound runts. So there's like different level of plague hound plague hounds that I have to get, and these are like the easiest ones. I guess they are level 53. Nice crit. Just, just slow down. Just, just relax. I'll just guide you for a second. I don't wanna. I don't wanna deal with it. Let's see. Do I got any like wimpy meat to feed him? Yeah. Yeah, he's getting at least a little bit of happiness from it. Darrow Shire. Okay. You know, I I did I must have done at least some of the Eastern Plague Lands and like the Cataclysm. I did do some of the caravan. I did the like you know the the little girl quest there. You know where you start. It starts with the doll Pamela, right? Pamela Darrowshire. So I did some of the quests in Eastern Plague Lands, but I didn't complete it. Ooh, he's on me. Get him! Just stun him! There should be, when you're melee weaving, there should be like no delay. Like, as soon as you hit it, you should be going back. Like, it should be, it should say green here for melee range for like, just like a split second, basically. So, do, how are the bats, right? The bats are... Yeah. Just need, just need more of the carrion grubs and then the different plague hounds so I don't need it I don't need to do the bats anymore which is great because I don't want to do them they're, they're such a pain all those fears fears for days you know it feels like it anyway I mean honestly it's not maybe not that bad but it feels pretty bad huh like, why is my multi shot not going off? Probably just not hitting buttons. You know what's pretty important when you're playing WoW? Hitting buttons. Well, I mean, if, if you want to maximize your DPS, that is. Like I always, I always think about like Hunter can can have like two modes. It can have like the really basic, relaxing mode, which is fine. A lot of the time, perfectly acceptable when you're leveling. Like, you don't need to have it be super complicated. Look how easy it is to kite. Oh my gosh. Just slow him down with a basic wing clip and just like, lol, you know. For your whole life, you can't go anywhere, basically. And then you've got like the more advanced play style with like melee weaving and really really getting the most out of your character using your your correct abilities because like okay serpent sting is like okay it's okay but i usually don't use it i just stick with like the raid rotation even though when you are leveling like serpent sting's okay if it's gonna if the thing's gonna last for the whole 15 seconds yeah it's fine uh i don't like that Uh, yeah. I think I'll just send him in here. For the... My hope, anyways, is that my pet is able to get aggro on the Plague Bat. And then I'll just melee the Plague Hound down. There we go. Because, uh... I had two guys and I wasn't really... Utilizing my double... Swing timers to the fullest. That's not good. You want to use your, you want to use the resources that you have, basically. You know. 
Like this meat. Like just eat all this meat, please. He's still again in happiness. You know? He's still getting it. I don't know. Okay, now he's full happiness. It's like, I mean, that meat, it's it, it's it's almost too low level to do anything. So it's, And it's just taking up space. It's not worth anything to vendor. So why not just use it every time I stop to drink and whatever. So to have map maximum happiness. I always thought it was weird that these guys are not beasts that carry in groves. Like, they're worms, right? Why aren't the worms a type of beast? Later on, even... Um, you know, there are some worms you can tame, right? Like the... I don't know, the weird looking worms. I, I just know that there's some worms that you can tame later on. Are there any, like... Any ore around here? Like, we're up in the mountains, I feel like there should be some veins or something. I wonder if the bots, you know, the bots that mine stuff... Can they get to, like, the... Uh... The... the ore veins that are inaccessible because of like they're inside of like a tree or something the, the, are they are they constrained by collision at all not that it's like really important or anything i'm just kind of curious like is that, how does that work i felt i felt good about that one thing but then that melee attack was bad 3.0 like, I felt good about, I think, this auto shot, but it wasn't good. I have such a hard time getting the, the auto shot portions here and here. I have a really hard time with those. Getting those times down. Because theoretically, that should be very close to zero. And so should the Raptor Strike component, but, I mean... For some reason, I just consistently am, and I'm, am unable to get the... Uh, auto shots in time, or like as quickly as I should be. And that's maybe like I'm not paying enough attention to my open swing timer, or what. And it's an AoE fear too, you know? Like that's just not fair. <laughs> that's not fair at all. Come over here, come to where my owl is. You see that my owl was he did he still have dash on or did he cast dash again? I think he cast it again. This is a smart owl. Inktar, you're very smart. Thank you for being my very helpful owl friend. So you cannot track like the grubs because they're they're not beasts. They're something different. And they're just they just they don't have Oh, I really thought that would aggro me. They don't have uh a tag at all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought I thought it was gonna cast multi shot, but it didn't go off, so I was just kind of stunned there for a second. Like, please push, use the buttons. And when I say about like pushing buttons is important, like for maximizing DPS, it's like it's especially important for retail. Now, it's important in Classic to some extent, but kind of what I mean there when I say, like, pushing buttons is important is maybe you could say, like, uptime is important more often in uh, Classic. Like, in Classic, you just you want to make sure that you're doing DPS as absolutely as much as possible. You want to be attacking as many times as you can. And, like, while that might sound obvious, there are certainly some circumstances where you might actually not see that happening too much. Here we go. Get a couple of these wormy boys. Like, you want to move as little as possible out of ground effects and all that. Okay. This is the one that my pet is not attacking. So bring him over here. Okay. Don't have any big red animal to, to use. So I'll just keep doing this. Okay. Some form doesn't use a cooldown, does it? Uh, triggers a global cooldown. Yeah. 
When it's just the... When it's just the worms, it's not too bad, actually. Those gargoyles, man. It's just like in... It's just like in, uh... Stratholm, isn't it? I mean, really. Like, in Stratholm, I know that they... They just patrol around and are just jerks. You know, they're just really mean. Because they're patrolling around all the time and just... You can... Here I am! You know? I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull everything with me, too. And there's already, like, the, sh the shades, right? There's, like, the shades of Max Ceramus. Why did they decide it was necessary to add the gargoyles as well? Mm, little, t little conflicted if I should use my cooldowns here. What? I literally just auto-shot, and I had aggro on that. That's not right. Come on. Come on, Eemtar. Come on. Kind of letting me down a little bit here. Uh, I think I'll just like manually click on this guy. What I'd really like to do is get name shot off. There we go. And then I can just start like my normal weaving once I get that aim shot off. Oh man! Did you see how long that took? There. Like, I mean, it took a long time before that melee went out. Like, I didn't even go off. Like, I got close. It was a normal melee attack, not a raptor strike, and it just took a really long time. It just didn't go off, man. Like, what is going on? I don't know that I've seen people talk about that in the 100 Classic Discord, so maybe I'll ask a question in the Melee Weave channel about that. Oh man, someone was trolling in the uh, the new Trinket Swapping channel the other day. I didn't catch that it. it was trolling. To me, I like trolling to be pretty over the top so that it's clearly trolling, you know? Like whenever somebody's like, you know. If you're talking about, is melee weaving good? And then, like, is melee weaving good? And then you give, like, some conditionals in there so it's obvious that you're trolling. Like, oh, I heard that you should only melee weave if you have, like, uh, full tier 2 and Barb of the Sand Reaver. And uh, you should probably be, like, max, max attuned already. And, like, just add, keep adding stuff so it's, like, clear that you're trolling. Because, like, the, the basic question of, like, should you melee weave? Unfortunately, is entirely too common of a question to ask in the uh, Hunter Discord. Like, it was a new channel, so, like, I think it was just, you know, just people, really the people that go there are going to be the people that are kind of part of the community already, and they know what to expect, because there were no pins, it wasn't, like, the channel wasn't really populated yet, I should have been aware that someone was just probably just trolling. Because it was like, that's what everybody was doing, right? But then they asked, that's like, oh. No, they, they got me, though. I bit, I bit on that one. I thought they were... I was trying to be helpful. And But then once I knew they were trolling, like, I could go with it. You know, I was like, oh, yes, 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 yes. You know. Because I like, I like, I like the, you know, the trolling of the, sarc the sarcasm, and you just say, like, yeah, you know. You just go to the extreme, right? You, t you take it, like, to the extreme of silliness, right? I like that. You know, like, how, how how can we be creative and think about how you can do something silly? Like, there might be a real question in there somewhere, but, like, you're, you're making it silly. I like that quite a bit. Oh, those are elites. Don't want to... I want to deal with those guys, really. Where are all the plague hounds? Looking for demons. Then there's a worm. Plague hound runs. Still just the plague hound runs. Where'd the worm go? There we go. It's kind of. It's pretty barren over here. I feel like. I feel like I'm a. You know, level, ten orc in the barrens with how few uh, mobs are being populated here. Honestly.
But no, I am a level 56 hunter. <laughs> well, I mean, hunter is... I'm a level 56 dwarf, I should say. Hmm. I'm gonna load too fast there. I've got about a quarter of a level, though, doing this. Uh, and this... I feel like right here, I feel like this is kind of like just a pure... Hey, just go kill stuff. Like, just go farm, essentially. Just go, just go grind a little bit type stuff. And you know what? I have played, um, not MMOs, but I used to play like a multiplayer online role-playing game. It's called Conquer Online. Like a, definitely an Asian-inspired uh, MMO. I'd say it wasn't really MMO. Like, it didn't have the massive uh, thing going on. Like, there were people. It was definitely multi multiplayer. But I do feel like it was probably like an MORPG, not an MMORPG. It was an MO, not an MMO. Which is just like... People don't say that. It sounds weird to say that. <laughs> That's what really, what it, what, really what it was. Like, you were just... If you were leveling around, you would just not see that many people, right? Like, it was not meant... There, like, there were no... As far as I know, like, 40-man raids, right? There wasn't anything like that. And in that in that game, uh, like there were very few quests, very very few actual quests. You would not level from questing at all. It was all grinding. That is how you leveled. Like no question about it. Well, you know what? At least there's like some green here. Even if these guys are kind of like, at least they water the plants. You know. They got that going for him. Noxious played that. Where's, where's, where are the big ones? Where are the ones that you get Screech from? Where are those guys? Am I, have to, am I gonna have to go all the way? Oh, there's a Plague Hound. I need five Plague Hounds. Okay. So we're on the right track. This guy's gonna mess me up, isn't he? Yeah, let's just, let's just get it over with, you know? Let's just... Okay. I was wondering what would happen if I switch targets while uh, I'm casting aim shot, what's going to happen? And the answer is nothing happens. Which is unfortunate, because I certainly wanted something to happen. <laughs> I didn't want nothing to happen. Yeah, stun him. Stun him. Man, that, that debuff lasts a pretty long time. What is it? I, was, I saw the most I noticed it at was 35 seconds, but... Uh, what is this? There should be a Plague Hound somewhere around there, but I'm just not seeing it. There we go. We'll just get a little bit closer. Oh, nice. That, that, that last, last auto shot actually got off. I was a little bit surprised at that. It does feel a bit good to be a dwarf here, I'm not gonna lie. I actually uh, actually feel pretty pretty positive about that. Because I <laughs> I can use stone form to get off some of these irritating uh, debuffs. Some people were talking about uh, focus the other day. And uh, the focus mechanic for hunters, like it um, as I recall, and someone did mention this, Focus, what they were trying to do with Focus was make it so that it regenerated based on standing still. Which actually sounds really bad. <laughs> I think it does not sound like a fun way to play Hunter, unfortunately. Like, Hunter, to me, is a very mobile class. And by saying, like, oh, we want your resource to be based around being immobile, like, that just... I don't like that. Is he gonna be stuck in that tree? Yeah. I wonder if I'll be able to, like, coax him out somehow. Like, get close to him. We'll try. We'll give it a shot. Okay. Just try to get real... Oh, no. Just try to get real smooth on the... Like that, you know, that last part felt pretty good. See, look, okay, so the point one six seven. That was a pretty good one. Um, 
And I did have a couple looking down in my... I have it printing the results down down in my chat box. So like if you look, you can have you can have the these results print down here so that you can actually monitor them. Oops, wrong one. Which I find very helpful. Come on, pet. Get in there. Uh, am I going to be able to loot this guy? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to loot him. I'm going to stop that. That seems actually pretty pointless. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's just feign death. Okay. Just... I thought maybe, like, oh, I'll just, you know, attack him in there. But then I'm, am I going to be able to loot him? He's stuck in there. and It's going to take a long time because my pet is not going to have aggro. Or uh, I'm not going to be able to, like, do anything besides just do basic melee hits, so... Change my mind. There, get that. I do not want to increase my physical damage taken. I do not like that. Because <laughs> I actually... I'm a hunter, which sometimes it wouldn't be like such a big deal, but I actually like I'm taking melee hits a fair amount of the time with this playstyle, so... I do not want to spend time Taking hits like that. There we go. Nice. I love. I just love seeing crits. Who doesn't love seeing crits? Just seeing the big numbers. Uh Just it's a. It's a definitely a positive feeling. Okay. Get that hit in there. Let's cut a little bit. I know he's gonna. He's gonna come after me. There we go. He's gonna be an angry boy, that's alright. He can be angry. Everybody gets angry sometimes. You know what? I get angry. Everybody gets angry. You gotta have a good way to deal with your anger though, okay? Breathing is good. If you can, like, take a moment to get away from the situation. Not always possible. Uh... I like to get away from the situation a little bit if I can. But that's why I think breathing makes a lot of sense, because you can always breathe, right? You always have the capability of breathing. Oh, if they block, it doesn't apply the wing clip. That's kind of irritating. You can think, you can think like, happy thoughts. <laughs> right? Think of, uh, like... I've heard, like, if you, you know, meditating, visualizing, like, something relaxing can help you deal with uh, being frustrated and having angry thoughts. Breathing can help deal with a lot of negative emotions. Absolutely. I like that. And you can always breathe. Just always. You're always able to do that, no matter what, so that's a good part about that. Like, you may not be able to, like, get away from the situation. Like, what if you're upset and, like, you're driving, right? You're driving your car. Like, you can't, you can't just, a lot of the times, stop everything and be like, well, I need a second to get away from what's making me upset. Like, sometimes you can. Like, a lot of times, you know, so you could pull over, right? But, uh, you can always breathe. You can always take a nice deep breath. I'm surprised my bags are not filling up more than they are. Like, they definitely are filling up, but not, not like, an astounding amount. Lights Hope Chapel? Okay. Do they have a stable here? That'd be nice. Should I just pick up some of these quests? I don't know. Like, do they have any quests kind of just out in the open world? Yeah. Eh, let's pick it up. The what bringer? Oh, Ash bringer. Never heard of it. What? Stop bothering me. What can I do? Oh, that's suspicious, right? Uh, seek him out. Near Strat. See you later. 
I sell, he sells fungus. Interesting. And he sells that, and he sells arrows. I like this guy. Sell meat? No meat, though. But there's a lot of meat that I'm farming right now, so that's not... Not too big of a deal. Especially... Wow, this sells pretty well. Like, that's 8 gold right there. Brickett armor kit. I'm not gonna use that. That's not important. I can just... I can just sell that. Bro, why is there a quest item that is more than one stack? That's just cruel. That's cruel and unusual, man. Please don't ever do that again, Blizzard. <laughs> like, I know Let's Hope Chapel is a quest hub in retail, but how developed is it in, uh, in uh, vanilla? I don't know. In classic. You get a lot of, uh... Yeah, strat- I was thinking strat- 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 quests here you get a lot of, right? Hi, you're a tall one. Pledged hatchlings. That's- Very that's well. Skolomance. Okay. What can I do for you? Mm -hmm. later. Carlin Redpath. Okay. Well met. Uh, Stratholm. Okay. What can I do for you? Go with honor. Uh, is there a stable master here? Cause that would be super cool. Well, there is a mailbox. Bro, one of you got to know how to put something in a stable, don't you? Here there. The Great Frostyabi. That sounds like a reference to. What's your uh, back? The guy. What's on your mind? That's asking a lot. A golden rod? Hmm. Trade supplies? It's like a pretty... Pretty much what you want. I would really like there to be a stable master though. That would be super cool. Yeah, Bartholomew. Band of the Penitent. Just straight one crit? What's one crit? One crit's like, uh... Around 26 AP, right? It's around, I want to say around 13 agility. Usually the number that I've seen thrown around the Discord. So that would be slightly better than what I have right now. Even though it's just, just, just one quit, crit. Remember, light yeah, I mean, I, 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 what, what does it matter to me? I don't... And you know what? In retail, you just go right down here and you go straight down, and that's the Paladin Order Hall. Uh, Paladin Class Hall, right? No Stable Master, though. That's disappointing. Right? None of you guys decide you want to stable my pet? I'm gonna look it up real quick just to see if there is a Stable Master. Stable Master Eastern. Plaglands. Oh, there's a list of stable masters on Potopia. Interesting. But, but, now, I don't know how reliable this is because this is actually in retail. Ooh. And on Eastern Kingdom, Kingdoms, it doesn't even list one for. It's alphabetical. I don't see anything for Eastern Plaglands. Which makes me think there probably isn't one if it isn't even in... If they don't have one in um, retail, where they opened up that a lot, then they probably don't have one in... Classic, right? Is there a Staple Master in Western Plaglands? Really? Oh, weird, he's all... Oh, no, what? What is this? Oh, that's, that's retail. I was like, what am I looking at? Everything's green in Western Plaguelands. Okay. That's a no. Okay. I, you know, I didn't think so, but I thought I'd check just in case. Alright. 
Well, at least there's a mailbox. That's pretty cool. Send my all of this. The only thorium I've found here so far. And now I have a bunch of, uh... Ouch. Uh, Stratholm quests, which is nice, I suppose. Quest log is full. Uh, wonder where these, like, frenzied guys are. Okay. Yeah, that looks like spam, but hey, maybe not. Oh, okay. See what we can get going here. Oh man, I I am very bad at falling into just these little canyons and stuff. I I did it earlier in Ajara. Oh my gosh, I. You know, it's like I mean, it's not that big a deal, but it, it did add a fair amount of time to what I was doing. Oozing bag. Ugh. I know, uh, traditionally, the, the oozes do have bags. And there's even, like, the quest in, like, Minithil Harbor, I think, right? Uh, to get a bag that usually takes quite a while to get. Oh, uh, I'm not feeling good about how many guys we, we are seeing here. Okay. Will these climb up the slope? Yes, they will. Looking for the frenzy plague hand plague hounds. Hey Celtite, hope you're doing all right. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find my way around here. This is all like a river, right? In uh, in classic. Are oh, you doing some leveling too? What are you playing? Uh. Classic, I presume, or what class are you playing at the moment? Oh, nice. 57 and a half. I mean, I'm I'm getting to 57. I know the last few levels, you know, they take, it's the longest levels that exist, right? Uh, but you, you get through them and then you're done leveling until you level an alt, basically, right? I think this is my first time doing EPL. I haven't actually never really done it. I didn't do it in vanilla, like at all. And I did a little bit in retail, like a like the Red Path quest line, but not sure. Uh... Oh yeah, if you have a lot of sixties, for sure, you would know the experience of leveling. Like I haven't had a lot of time to play, so. And I, I have also been doing it very inefficiently. Like, I've been doing some of the quests. You know those quests, they just take you all around the world? Like, oh, I, especially, like, I did the quests in Hinterlands. I don't know if you've ever done those. They're terrible. <laughs> in terms of efficiency with respect to experience per hour, it takes such a long time to do those quests. You go all the way over to Neris. Got to do, like, Zulfarak. An extra time, right, for, like, the hammer. But it's kind of fun to do them, you know. Like I didn't, I didn't do a lot of those quests. Yeah, me too. Like I, I level for just for fun, not for speed. Like a lot of what I level when I'm doing this, it's like these are things I didn't get to do whenever vanilla came through. Because I didn't do, I didn't, I came in to vanilla in like 2006. The game was already pretty far along, right? Yeah, just do whatever. Do all the silly little quests, run around. It's pretty nice. You know, you'll get it done. And that's one thing I like about doing a hunter. It's real it's real good for leveling. I just you can it's a good first one. What is my special plate? I don't know. Uh nine days. One hour. Yeah. I took a big break. I, I played a lot. I mean not a lot. I got to around level forty, playing about an hour a day whenever Classic was released. And then I took a pretty big break. And then now, these days, I might play like two hours or so. Oh, here's the Frenzy Playgrounds. These are exactly what I needed. Seems like this zone's a bit, uh, 
less populated now that we're getting to the higher level part. The western edge of it just had stuff all over like the place. Oh nice, got the 1k gold for an epic already. Epic mount. Yeah, six days. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can certainly... I remember people saying around the time of Tur Burning Crusade, like to get to 60 quickly was about four days slash played is the number I seem to remember. I'm not there. <laughs> I am doing it, oh, really inefficiently. But it's it's still good. Three days at level 43? Yeah, I gotcha. That's, that's about halfway, right? Level 43 is right about halfway. So if you kept it up, that'd be about six days. Still pretty good. Like, wasn't it, I mean, Joanna, right? Back in the day, leveling the hunter? Wasn't that around four days? Or just, just under four days? You have a lot more abilities later for those later levels. And I think that helps a lot. And you, you know, you have like mounts and stuff. But in terms of like the experience required, I've heard that around 43 is actually halfway in terms of like the experience curve. But maybe, I mean, hey, if you've got you've got more 60s than I do. But it's it's uh it can be hard to think about your feelings versus like what the data might suggest. I mean, who who records that all the time, right? Like who does their slash play at like each level and like tries to find it out? That's kind of I'm sure there's somebody out there that does that, but not me. This is like, this is the first time I've even typed slash played at all on this character. Many people record uh, record how long it takes? Okay, sure. I mean, I know that some people are certainly in like the would like to compete in that sort of thing, just trying to do this leveling as quickly as possible, sure. Oh, these guys silence. I think these are the ones that have the screech, right? The max level of screech. I was looking for a stable master, but I, there aren't any anywhere near here. I think the nearest one would be Hinterlands. I don't want to. I guess I could fly over there, because like these are the guys I need to tame for Screech. And since I'm actually right here at the chapel, that actually isn't too far away from Hinterlands. Ugh. <laughs> what does the flight path look like? I wonder. I wonder if it's just straight there or not. I don't know. You know, you got those classic flight paths. And, uh... On those classic flight paths, they just... You never know how they're going to be connected, basically. I mean, obviously there are maps and whatnot, but... Without looking at a map... It's kind of a toss-up. How it's going to be connected. I would assume that this is going to be... Like, the Eastern Hope Chap... Eastern, uh... Light Hope Chapel, rather, is... No, I should... I should... I should... I should finish this quest. I'm so close to this, this quest. Yeah, South Shore. Well, uh, what I'm thinking about is going to, to Hinterlands. I would think that would be more direct. Like, I, I assume it's probably like Light's Hope Chapel to the... Uh, the Western Plague Lands one to Hinterlands. But it, it, might, it might even go through South Shore. Yeah, I don't know if that's like a hub. I'm, not, I'm glad that at least they... Wasn't it that orig, in the original vanilla, the verse, version, every flight path you had to go to, whenever you got to the flight path, you stopped, and then you'd have to go to the next flight path. So I'm glad that they made it... Uh, they released this version where you just you just do one flight path, and it you click one time, and it takes you to the actual place you're going. Because that would... It kind of seems like unnecessary to have to stop off at each one. That's never been a thing? Okay. See, I, I, I think I have a lot of memories of things back then, but it's been like 15 years, right? <laughs> so I definitely I definitely am rusty on some of the things. I'll say like a lot of stuff, and uh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong a bunch, basically is what, that, what, it, what it all boils down to. But I like uh, I like learning when I'm wrong, so that I can actually be like, oh, okay. And I try to remember when I'm wrong, so that I don't say the the wrong thing again, right? 
But sometimes, like, I, I try to be open about it, like, especially with something that happened 15 years ago. I think my biggest silliest thing is, uh, in Feralis, there's the Twin Colossus, those mountains, and you can go up those. And I think there's, there's, there's like a quest that, I know there's a quest that teleports you up to the top of the mountain. And I want to say there's some way to get down without just having like a slow fall or like a noggin fogger or something. But I don't know where it is because I jumped off that mountain like thinking there was like a parachute buff or something. I just died. And I died so far, so far up on the mountain that I couldn't even get to my body. That was a, I mean, I spent probably 10, 15 minutes just trying to go up. Just, just wanting to go up a mountain and down again because I died and then I had to go to my body, try to get up on the mountain, couldn't do it, go back to the spirit healer. Yeah, that was that was a pretty fun 15 minutes of just messing around, you know? Where am I going? Do I have the... Yeah, I wanted to go to Light's Hope Chapel and I wanted... Do I have all of these? No, I need a few more of those grubs. Okay, I don't need to track those. Can't track the grubs. I really think they should be beasts, but they're not. Like, what are they if they're not beasts, right? Like, they're not beasts, they're not demons. They're just wormy things. On the left, the top left corner? Uh, that is to track my, like, melee weaving. Uh, and so basically that just means that any time that I go in like this here and do, like, a melee attack after doing a range shot, it just keeps track of that. And so, like, the goal is to get it to basically a really low number. And it's just a, it's a way to increase your DPS by, in like a raid setting, maybe up to like 20% increased DPS if you're doing like I was doing right there. So it just says, uh, here it's saying, how long did it take the entire process? From me shooting an auto shot, to running in, meleeing the thing, coming back out and shooting another auto shot. That's what this number represents. And here are the components of all of that. And then like, it also prints off. So you can see down here, that's these same numbers. So what I'd like to do at some point is actually uh, come in and put all that in a, in a spreadsheet. Oh, it's, it's totally, yeah. I mean, like in terms of like usefulness, doing it in a, like a leveling context isn't that great. Really, if you really want to improve at doing that and do better DPS, there's like some target dummy type things. Yeah, it's like uh, it's a uh, it's a kind of a difficult thing to do, and it's maybe up to twenty percent if you do it correctly. But even if you do it poorly, it's not too bad. Like you might get like say five to ten percent better DPS. Right? Like who's gonna say no to that? Great. Get all these guys on me. Oh man, they really slow you down. You know, when you're leveling, you can do a lot like this, right? Oh my gosh, please. You can do it where you oftentimes get like... Yeah, I should have known. He's just going to pat right back here. Where you uh, are able to melee one and then like shoot another. Like that's pretty common, right? That was something that has been known for a long time that you could do so that you're using both your swing timers, both your like melee and range swing timer. Uh, yeah, let's heal my pet a little bit. This is not a great situation, basically. But we'll get through it. Hey, kitty cat. Yeah. Oh! Getting a claw there. That did not feel good. But, uh, like, it's something that is at least talked about a lot in the, say, the Hunter Classic Discord. They talk about melee weaving a lot. Because it's, I don't know, it's like... <laughs> you got people in there that they're, like, really trying to maximize how you can do the most DPS in a raid. Because, I don't know, hunters, it's, hunters are not that great at DPS, right? They're not the, they're not the worst. But they're, they can't really compete with, like, warriors and rogues at, like, the highest levels of DPS. So, 
I don't know. I guess they were trying to figure out how to do something more, and they came up with like melee weaving. Gosh, that slow is brutal. Hey, Kitty Cat. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, sure. It's totally like. You don't have to do it at all, right? Like. Exactly. It's a 15 year old game, and you can easily clear it without your, any of your hunters ever melee weaving or anything. But it's like, I kind of, I like, kind of like the idea just because it's a little bit more involved. Like one thing about, did I actually get enough of these? No, okay. One thing that uh, is kind of nice about say retail is like, you know, you're constantly doing stuff. Whereas if you take a hunter, oh yeah, sure. World buffs not even getting those. Yeah, man, I, I understand that completely, but like, I, I do find the melee weaving, like, engaging, you know? Like, you're not just sitting there only auto shotting and, like, occasionally looking at your cooldowns. So I like that. I like that aspect of it. Gives you something to do. But it is, n like, by no means necessary, right? Please? Uh, intimidate? No, I guess not. We'll just find death. I know this guy's got a lot of health. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Because, like, I was thinking about, you know, if you play retail and it's like, you're just, like, constantly clicking buttons. But in, in Classic, it's like, you, I mean, I, the, like, the meme back in Vanilla, right, was, like, basically that hunters only even auto shot. Which is, I mean, I'm sure some hunters did do only auto shots, but... And auto shot, no matter what, auto shot's gonna be probably your biggest source of damage. Like even if I just look at you know my details, I'm Beastmaster right now because I'm leveling. So my owl is the most is the biggest source of my damage at 28%, but auto shot's 27%. If you're marksman, it's gonna be like almost around I think 50% or so. Whoops. Of your DPS. So you can get away, you can get pretty far just by using auto shot alone, right? Like, I always think it's funny when, I don't know, if you want to say, like, Hunter's a very simple class, you can certainly say that, because you can, you can get away with literally just going into a boss and, like, just casting auto shot, right? And, and, and not even doing anything, you know, not even to, like, the level of, like, a, a, in Molten Core where you had a Frost Mage literally just cost you casting Frostbolt. At least you had to push the button Frostbolt more than, more than one time, but theoretically you could just be a Hunter and just cast, just cast a, uh, auto shot one time and just sit there, right? And you'd still do some DPS, right? But it's certainly, certainly there's a, you know, a few things you can do. Like you can, if you, if you play Hunter, then you can say, time your shots correctly. So that your shots aren't clipping. That'll be something of a DPS increase. Oh my. Oh no, that's a like that too. It's gonna like do a lot of. Uh, yeah, a lot of that right there is what it's gonna do. Fear. I don't like that. Okay. And Hunter's weird. I always also think that Hunter is just strange because of all the like weird little delays that it has in it. It's one thing that gets talked about in, like, say, the Hunter Classic Discord. It's like, oh, like, there. why is there a delay for this? I don't know. Why is there a delay when you aim... Uh... Oh, thanks, guy. How nice. Whenever you cast uh, Feign Death, there's, like, this huge delay. After you cast the Feign Death, I will help him with that guy, because he helped me out. Like, you have to wait for, like, a full... Like it was a full unhasted. There we go. Done with this this section. Full unhasted auto shot. Does he have any debuffs on? No, it's fine. Before you can do anything, right? And it's like, why? Why is it like that? I don't know. Unless, of course, the way that you get out of feign death is that you use 
auto shot. For some reason, if you if you if you use auto shot to get out of feign death, you actually don't have this huge delay. You can just cast the auto shot like normal. It's like all these weird little things with Hunter that they talk about in the Hunter Classic Discord. <laughs> uh, Hunter's kind of a mess. I, Hunter's, Hunter's, I guess, just traditionally just kind of been like this in this weird place from the vanilla space, right? Like it was the last class designed, you know, the cl uh, the thing that they uh, mentioned previously was things like Hunter was going to have focus, but they couldn't really find a good way to implement it. Uh, so now they have mana, even though their pets have focus. And, I mean, although a pet focus basically just energy, it's just the exact same thing. How does feign death work? I don't know. There's like the, why is there like a wind up timer for the auto shot? Why is there a retry timer for the auto shot? Yeah, I mean, I, whenever Cataclysm came out and they switched to focus, I, that's when I actually stopped playing my Hunter. I played a Druid at that point. I was like, eh, I'm going to do something different. So they changed... Uh, so I guess in some way I do prefer Man Over Focus too, because I just... I was done. Yeah, it definitely... Yeah, I can see that it does take time if you have like a single fire musket or whatever to reload and for a bow, it would take time to you know pull another thing. But they totally got rid of that later, right? But who knows? I, I do feel like maybe in vanilla they had more thoughts of the lore. Yeah, you don't have an AR-16 in WoW unless you're playing like retail, right? And you have like Barrage, and you just shoot that huge cone. What was Blizzard thinking when they designed Barrage? Like really? Like they know, you know how hunters are with multi-shot already pulling extra stuff. And they're like, let's just make a gigantic cone. And it's just going to always pull everything in the zone. And it's going to shoot super fast. <laughs> uh, oh. That was ridiculous. Oh yeah, I know. That is one thing about... It, like, it's massive AoE damage and everybody has it. Because in retail, everybody can do everything. Like, everybody may not be the best at everything, but everybody can do everything, absolutely. Like, everybody has stuns, everybody has interrupts. Everybody has AoE damage, everybody has single target damage, you know, everybody can heal. Like, yeah, I definitely agree with that. It's like, there's, you know, it, it's, it, it happened incrementally, I think, a lot of the times, but after a game that's been ex in existence for like 15 years and they keep doing expansions and they keep changing things, uh, I, maybe it is almost bound to happen. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a different. It, like you go back to classic, and it's just like, wow, this is just so much simpler, you know. Like, and sometimes it feels really bad. Like if you're say you're playing like a rogue against a mage, and you're just like, well, I can't ever do anything. Great. Yeah. Oh yeah, paladin. All, all the only thing they have for control is that stun, right? It's a nice stun. To be fair, it's like the longest stun, isn't it? Like it's really long. Isn't it like six seconds or something? It feels like an eternity if you get stunned by Hammer of Justice. <laughs> but you're correct. Like they don't, you don't have anything besides that. The first time I ever leveled a Paladin was in uh, Burning Crusade as a Blood Elf, naturally. And I leveled it as Holy. I don't know why. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I leveled it as Holy. That was a mistake. But uh, it took forever. I never ever died, but it just took so long to do anything. Yeah, I'm doing this foraging quest line. I've never done it before, and it's kind of the. You know, he's talking about his son there and everything. Never did it before, so I'm kind of you get a really good necklace for it, and it's you know Tyrion is a huge part of uh, of the lore going forward, of course, with like Wrath of the Lich King, he's huge. He actually is the one who defeats the Lich King, helps you defeat the Lich King and everything. Yeah, go to the Undercroft. Alright. Don't exactly know what to do. I was looking at this quest up a little bit. Yeah. I was looking at the at the Wowhead about it because it's like 
that way you can read everything maybe a little bit more in depth than what you're trying to figure out. Let's see. Where do I need to go? Southernmost section of the eastern plague lands. Okay. Oh yeah, sure, there's there's a lot of a lot of lore in this game, like I don't know if you ever saw the thing where uh, the one of the game designers was talking about like kind of how they could design it and that they they had to have like as long as they hit those lore points it was okay that they could do whatever they wanted basically but having the lore is like part of the world was a huge part of the design of the game you level your priest while reading the crest I assume GF, GF there is girlfriend and explain the, the lore behind them oh yeah there's a lot you can definitely do something like that. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, they did try to tie it all together, right? And that's one thing that I really feel about Classic WoW is just it really has all those like Warcraft 3 vibes, you know? Like you get to see a lot of that. That kind of was the, the continuation of Warcraft 3. Duskwood has really dark stories. Oh yeah, Duskwood's messed up. Duskwood, I feel bad for the people that live in Duskwood, man. They just... There's haunted stuff everywhere, Oregon. Guy that's like just obsessed with their <laughs> students. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Wow. Well, wow. Well, like they could never make like a Warcraft 4 because they, they took all the lore and continued it. And, and uh, wow, absolutely. That's, that's right. But, uh, you know, the lore and just, you know, like all the buildings, you know, like. Oh, this is clearly a barracks, right? This is the town hall. This is the a lumber mill, you know? So, like, the lore and the, you know, like, the buildings and the landscapes and everything. Oh, sure. I don't know if, I don't know if we take it as far as we do as the, with the mismantle, isn't it? I forget the exact name, but the, that, that storyline in, in Dark. Hopefully not too many people take it that far as the storyline in Duskwood. You know, when I, get, when I get a quest like this, like, I was reading this quest, it just says, like, the southern part in the Undercroft. I was like, I don't really, uh-huh, talk for myself. Oh, yeah. With that nice little kappa in there. I appreciate the kappa. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad that sarcasm emotes exist. Sarcasm emotes exist because uh, they really help. Kappa's the classic, but Okay. Like, I like to just, I do like to try to find out where stuff is without, like, looking at Wowhead a lot. And it, things, oh yeah, things do get, uh, like, it's nice to just go in, in, like, wrong places, you know? And, like, just figure out where you're trying to go. And, like, sometimes you just waste all your time, like, clearing out all this ex extra stuff. But it's like, hey... I got a lot of experience doing it. I got to find out where the quest is. I'll probably remember how to do this quest next time because I didn't just look up the information. But yeah, yeah, you know, there's, yeah, I mean, I've been, I haven't been streaming for very long, but I've been watching Twitch for a very long time, you know, back when it was like just Justin TV. Yeah, there's a lot, it's, there's, there's, you know, you'll certainly see some dark stuff sometimes around there. Oh my gosh. When I go in for like a non-Raptor Strike melee attack, I feel like it messes up quite a bit. Makes me... makes me not happy. Will he be able to path straight in there? Okay. I'm not looking forward to going into this crypt, because I just feel like everything's going to be like really close quarters. I'm not going to be able to shoot anything. This is like hunter problems, you know? Although apparently in Burning Crusade, that that is when they got rid of the dead zone. Everybody in the like, there's a Burning Crusade waiting room where they've been talking about that. Okay, that's not too bad. Just three three mobs down there. That's that's certainly doable. No mana for anything. Oh my gosh. Well, this is great actually. This is exactly what I want. I want more enemies that I, so I can just melee. You know. Ouch. 
Yeah, that's one nice thing about Hunter. Like, if you, if there's three enemies, you know, if you're playing like a warrior that's not got gear being fed to him, three enemies is just going to be like something you can't even deal with a lot of the time, unless they're lower level significantly, right? Like, if they're green mobs, you can probably do three. But, like, three yellow or orange mobs, I guess not orange mobs, red mobs, right? Orange quests. On a warrior, that's pretty tough to deal with. But as a hunter, yes, yeah, like, okay, we can do this. We have the tools. We have our own mini tank, right? Like, that's just cheating. Let's see if I got any of this meat to give my pet there. This debuff. Okay. Why are there troll zombies down here anyways? What's the, what's the reason for there being troll zombies? Like, why trolls? What do the trolls do? Like, I know they're there, and I know, like, even in retail, there's, like, a section of the of the troll zombies. It's just, like, normally I think about the trolls, I think about Kalimdor, right? There's not... Oh, I guess there is the there's the ones in uh, Hinterlands. That's that's Eastern Kingdoms. That's pretty close. Yeah. I guess everything just gets kind of messed up in uh, the Eastern Plaguelands, so, though, with all the all the scourge stuff that happened down there. You know. Hey, kitty cat. Hey. All right. You know, trolls and stairs though. Name a more iconic duo. Like they love their stairs. I know this isn't like a troll piece of architecture or whatever, but there's all. I feel like every time there's trolls, there's stairs. They always have those big, uh, almost like ziggurats or whatever. Those big ritual things, like in ZF and Hinterlands and whatnot. Moss Flayer Moss Flayer Tribe of Trolls, yeah. Okay, let's see what we got down here. Three guys and that guy. Okay. If I pull one of them, are they all gonna pull? We'll see. See what happens. Okay, I won't pull the big guy. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's fine then. Yeah. My pet can totally handle that. Use a couple of cooldowns here. Uh, there we go. I love I love uh bestial bestial wrath. I just have, love having a big red pet, you know? So fun. Is that guy gonna go oh my gosh, really guy? Can you can you at least fella? He's going in there, he's gonna kill it! Oh man, that's alright. I, I, I spend, you know, having a life or whatever, it's like, yeah, it's, it's good to have hobbies, and... I feel you on that, like, I, I spent, on the things that I enjoy look, looking into, like, I find a lot of information about it, so I totally get that. Is this, that, that guy, there was like a hunter that just went down there into the crypt, I feel like he's just gonna... Get the one guy that I need, and I'm gonna have to wait for all these to respawn after doing all the work of pulling them all, you know? Oh, goodness. Does the guy. You have to kill the guy to get the hammer to drop, is that right? Or is it. Oh, no, there's just an item here? Yeah. You kill me before it's too late? Okay. Oh, I have like too many quests. Which quests can I just get rid of? Let's get rid of that. Yep. Kill this guy, use his key. Uh-huh. Alright. Yeah, so I'll just wait for that guy to respawn, I guess. Yeah, you know, it happens. <laughs> I don't know if he just... I don't know if he didn't see me or, you know, whatever. It's like, because he could have easily stopped and just been like, invite, and then we could have done it. It's just, he ran so fast, I couldn't even like stop to think like, oh, I can shoot him an invite, right? So that we can just get the same thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's not that big a deal, but 
I, I actually, I want to go back up. Just, I'm not sure what the respawns are going to be like. I don't know if that guy's going to respawn. And then there's going to be like three other guys that respawn at the same time. That would be not good. Come on, fella. Let me get you. Some people get very aggressive with the DM, so... Oh, yeah. Like, uh, you know, over, like, nothing sometimes. Oh, sure. Like, I was playing selfish people. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel good. I absolutely agree. Like, I remember I was playing, um... I was doing dungeons, right? And, like, Mr. Pandaria leveling, like, a rogue. And all I did is I just, I just marked something... And this guy, like, blew up on me. Like, I just marked an, an enemy with a skull. Like, that's all I did. Because I was, like, it was, like, one of the regenerating Shaw guys in, like, the Temple of the White Tiger or whatever. And I was, like, put a skull on it so that people focus on it. Because sometimes that's all it takes, you know, to get your DPS to focus on stuff correctly. You just put a skull on something, right? And it's taken care of. And he's, like, don't tell me how to tank. What? <laughs> what? And then, like, after we finished the instance and we cleared it fine, no problems, and he just, like, starts, he makes an alternate character and just starts whispering me hateful slurs, you know, out of nowhere. And then instantly ignores me. Like, what? Like, why are you so mad? We're just playing a game and there's not even any problems. <laughs> the maddest I've ever seen someone on WoW. Yeah, if you just put, like, a really or something, yeah. I can get that. That's, you know. That way, like, you're, you're expressing your frustration and it's not, like, totally toxic, right? Like, that... If you're gonna say something, that's about a good way. Oh, yeah, death threats. That's, that's so terrible. Like, we're just, you know, we're just playing World of Warcraft, man. Like, just trying to have a little fun. I don't really think that's... that. Are these guys undead? Can I track them? Yeah. Can I be, like, an actual hunter and just track things? Be one with nature. Yeah, I don't know why people gotta get so mad. I always think of the, you know, the old the old video, you know, his only game, why you have to be mad. Like, totally. I, I totally understand that guy. I, I way more empathize with that than someone getting, like, super upset over it. Just these silly little things happening. And you know, one thing, you asked about, like, the, the add-ons over there. One thing that I'd like to do is just, like, go back over my VODs and, like, pick out the data. And then just, like, make, like, a nice little spreadsheet for myself and see, like, how I'm improving. No real reason why. It's just, like, just try to see something, you know? I like to do stuff like that. Just do little data analytic research stuff. Boosted a guy in BFA Mythic Plus. Alright. Uh huh, you're a Guardian Druid. Nice, Guardian Druid's pretty fun, right? Okay, yeah, that's pretty mean. That's a pretty mean thing to do. Dude, do, uh, are like Mythic Pluses, or do they get pretty, like. Would you say that the community around Mythic Pluses can be a little bit uh, toxic like that? Is that. Was that, like, especially unusual, or. Or what? I, I've never done... I think I've done, like, one Mythic Plus ever. I just... This, by the time Mythic Pluses were released, I just didn't really didn't have a lot of time to play WoW. I know Mythic Pluses are, like, supposed to be fast, right, a lot of the time. But I just... I couldn't... I just... I was at a point in my life where I couldn't have... Uh, time that was, like, guaranteed to be uninterrupted. Like, I feel like normal... I guess maybe a better question would be like, how would you compare Mythic Plus communities to just like a normal or heroic instance community? If you could think about that. I don't know if because like normal and heroics, right? They're like so, they're so simple now. Like it's just, there's so, you just do whatever you want, right? Was there like a pile of dirt? That I was supposed to do something with by the wagon over here. Yeah. I could do that while I'm... Wait, what? 
I need somebody's key first. What was the thing? Uh huh. This is all my shower, I imagine. So that's probably gonna be like the top, that top place up there, like up north or whatever. Like, I feel like, I don't know, Mythic, like, small group is a little bit different from, like, raid groups, because you, I feel like a lot of times you don't do it with the same people, but maybe that's just pugs, I guess. The brackets go, people do 1 to 10 without voice, and then people get stuck between 10 and 15 and get a little bit more serious and toxic, I guess. Get over 15, get overconfident. Yeah, I, like... That's what I'm thinking. Like the 20 plus would probably be where you're. You have like more of a community where you know each other, right? But like below that, where you can still reasonably pug it. Like I've done a lot of pugs, right? Like I, whenever they, whenever they introduced like raid, uh, not raid finder, but um, dungeon finder, right? Back in Lich King, like that's when it became super efficient with respect to time to do dungeons, so I leveled up like a lot of tanks especially because it's just so fast. And pugs, pugs can be, you know, you just got random people and it can be an adventure, right? <laughs> yeah, at 20 you will, you'll have your people that you know and spend all your time with, yeah. That makes sense to me. Like at that point, I'd, maybe it'd be in a way similar to a raid where with your raid group, you know, you got your group and you, you know people, right? So you can still have toxicity, absolutely, but it'd be like uh, a bit different, I think. Oh wow, look at that raptor strike crit, 456. Unfortunately, apparently the best uh, hunter spec right now well, for like AQ40. I don't know if I'm going to raid, so... What does it matter what spec I choose, but... There's like the... Get all these guys going in. I should have got mana before I did this. I should have drank. Oh well, it'll be fine. I'll actually get this guy. Okay. So my, I'll get a little bit of aggro like that. Okay. Oh man, that was a mistake. Okay. Oh. I wanna feign death, because I do not like I don't like that I have two guys hitting me, that's not good. Now I have a lot of guys hitting my pet. I don't like that either. <laughs> that's not really any better. Okay. Let's just go ahead and focus on healing him a little bit, maybe? No. Alright. I'm out. I'm dead, probably. It's not a not a good situation here. Yeah, all the stuns. Well, uh, that's gonna be a run back. I didn't clear that place well enough, so all the guys got on me. Where am I coming from here? Oh, that's not too bad. At least it's pretty close to the spirit here. But yeah, I've, I mean, I've done very little of the of the BFA. Uh, of any Mythic Plus, even in Legion, I didn't do very much. Like, I, I, I've i played, I mean, since Vanilla, I've played every single, every, at least a little bit, every expansion of WoW. So I have, like, at least a little a little bit, but there have been some some expansions I play way more than others, right? Oh, no. <laughs> two, after two weeks getting perma-banned? What did you do? No, it's okay. You don't have to say if you don't want to do it. Oh, man. Getting perm banned. That sound. So, what did you make like another account then? If you got permed, or did they like undo it? Do they ever undo perm bans? I don't know. Yeah. I feel like the only thing I know about getting banned is whenever you see those big like posts on, say, Reddit or whatever, where they're like trying to appeal it. They're like, oh, I got banned for like so and so. Unfair reason. Oh, yeah, sure. Got a new account after... Yeah. I totally get, like... Bro, if you can make some money, like, if you put all this effort in, like, I get it, you know? 
I like I had a friend back in um, it must have been in Burning Crusade. Like he, you know, he just paid for like leveling services, and then I think he also paid. Like at first, he paid for leveling services because he wanted. Oh yeah. You know, I think a lot of the times that's true. When people get banned, they did do something, but they don't want to say what it was. I think that I think there's definitely something to be said for that. And my friend, so he 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 like he he paid for a leveling service, but then he was like, "Wait, all my gear is crap." So then he paid someone else uh, for like their gladiator account back in Burning Crusade. He, so he had like a war. It was a warlock. He had like you know the armored Nether Drake and everything. Oh, now, uh, <laughs> uh, or however many strikes and you're out, huh? There, that sounds pretty serious. Hey, uh, you know what, though? At least they told you. At least they communicated about it, you know? It could be worse. They could just be like, they don't approve and they just ban you one last time and that's it. So, like, and, and that way, at least, I guess it's kind of nice. Like, they don't, I don't know that they necessarily have any obligation to communicate anything with you about it. I got my cat down here and she's like, won some attention. Okay. I got at least one of those guys, but I, he may have respawned. I don't know. It's taken a while, so. This time I'll be more prepared. I'll clear this stuff out and then, uh, have like a better escape route planned out. Mmm, yep. Several gladiators, Hero of the Alliance. What is Hero of the Alliance? That, I don't know what that is. And then, uh, Server First Old War and Special Psyker. It's a lot of stuff, yeah. Absolutely. Like right now, if you were to look at, say like my retail account, it would just be like top 5% in rated- oh, okay, in rated BGs. I've never done a rated BG. Not ever. <laughs> so I don't- that's why I'm not familiar with it. Like, all I have on my account, I have like a ton of mounts, right? And not even a ton. Not a ton, okay? Like, I'm not- not like a lot, but over- f oh, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Let's see. I had the- the frost elemental mount. So whatever- like, whatever cutoff that is where you get the frost elemental, 350 or 400 something like that like I was like I was collecting mounts that's that's what I could do yeah you'll always have the screenshots right they can't they can't take that away from you okay I'm gonna drink there's only two guys here there's only but I'm still gonna drink just in case something goes down okay make sure I have stuff cleared out a little bit better here Maybe go a little bit farther away. I only pulled one guy this time. I don't know. I thought I saw another guy in there. I don't know where it went. I was, you know, I was never really one to take a lot of screenshots of stuff in WoW. But, like, sometimes I wish I did, you know? Like, I may have took some of, like, some raid boss downings a long time ago. I took screenshots of, like, silly stuff. <laughs> like, you could... There used to be a thing at, at, at one point in, like, say, Burning Crusade, where if you used Eyes of the Beast, and then, like, you told your pet to jump, and then, like, stay, I think it was, and then you canceled it, like, they would stay floating. I can't tell if he's doing it because it's a bird, but they could, they would, like, just stay floating. So imagine you have, like, a cat, and it's, like, floating. And it could, it, it, you could do it on, say, like, say you jumped off a bridge, so you'd have a pretty long fall. And you just have your, say, cat just floating there in the middle of the, of the thing. Uh, and you just use the stay command. I, I took a screenshot of that. That's the kind of stuff I think about <laughs> taking screenshots of. Just like random, silly things that I would do. Or like today, I just saw an easy way to get into old Iron Forge just by like using Eyes of the Beast. And I was like, hey! Uh, take screenshots and RP? Oh yeah, sure, that makes sense. See, look, here I am again. Just pulling extra guys. 
not paying attention to my surroundings. I was never really much one for like RP where you actually like say talking to people. Uh, or really a lot of those like RP aspects of the game. I just like like my character. Like I like I like do I look I do like to name my characters, for example, things that are actually sound like names, right? Like my game guy's name is Gellius. My pet's name is Ingtar. It's not like XXX Hunter 420 or whatever. <laughs> I like I like to have that. I do like to think of my characters as like people or something, but you know, I don't do the whole I don't come with like necessarily like a whole thought fl uh, thought out say backstory or anything like that. But I could certainly see how that'd be like a fun thing to do. I had a friend in college who did a lot of stuff where he liked to do RP and he like had a paladin and he just The thing that sticks in my head is he is he used to buy like one of the alcohols from, that was like from a vendor or something. Uh, that you couldn't get from very many other places and then like he just stand in like a place like one of the just one of the doodads you know that's out in the world that's like a bench or like a stall or something and he'd just stand there and uh and pretend he was basically a vendor and like tell stories to people as they'd come and, and they would buy like the alcohol from him you know I'm like okay wait what use your abilities please pretty sure i hit the button but i guess not Oh, yeah, I mean, there's lots of fun things you can do, right? But yeah, that's definitely one thing just in general about WoW is you can do whatever you like. There's a whole lot of different things to do. And in retail, maybe even more, but seven years of RP and good. I imagine you must play on an RP server then, right? But I think... Because I just, I just imagine, so that must be much easier to engage with RP if you do that. Yeah. Because just normal. Normal server is probably not the best place for that. Just because not as many people would be willing to engage with it. Now, I, I do know there's probably a... F on Classic, you don't RP? Okay. Or you don't? Then it's all PvP? Oh, interesting. What class do you like to PvP with the most in Classic? Okay. Back to Tyrion, right? Paladin? Okay. World people? Oh, I could see that, yeah. The, uh, c the thing that makes sense to me, what I think about when I hear that, I think like, Smackdown mages like stealing candy from kids. They don't have spell steal, right? So they can't do anything about your blessing of freedom. Is that correct? Like, they can, they can blink your stun, but no, like, uh, no spell steal or anything, so, like, you can actually, like, kind of stick on them a little bit. Oh, nice. Yeah, 1v2 versus 2 mages. Yeah, I think, and like with a paladin and like world PvP, like you'd be able to use your, all your, you know, variety of cooldowns uh, to great effect, right? Be able to pick your fights a little bit and stuff. Where, uh, compared to say like a battleground where it's a little bit more organized, you don't get to do that much. Uh... <laughs> uh not a smart move, kid, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. I, I think I did the most PvP in Burning Crusade on a rogue. And I did, I did, um, I got it up to like the to level 60, and I just sat in all track valley. Like, literally, I would like get home from work, and when I was awake, I'd just be doing all track valley all the time, like on my rogue in that 50 to 60 bracket on in Burning Crusade. Just played, played it so much. I think, I think, I really like Rogue for PvP. Like, just, you have so many options, right? Even though, like, at that time, there there were more things that you could get if you leveled up, like, because you could get, I think that's when they introduced Cloak of Shadows? And they did introduce, like, some additional things in that, you know, the Burning, uh, Burning Crusade content, but, you know, I, I played enough Alterac Valley back then, it's like, you get to know the people that you're playing with, right? You get to see the people that or like in full tier 3 except for like the best items that you could get from like Burning Crusade. Cuz like there's some really good stuff you could get in Burning Crusade that was better than like even Max Ramus gear, right? Like a few items. 
I guess. Anyway, it's because that's... Oh, wow. He is destroying that like that. Oh, Tyrion, you're so strong. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they... So, I'm saying, like, it was in the 50-60 bracket, but... Uh, and it was when Burning Crusade was out, but they get they would have raided Nax, and they had all the gear from Nax when they were doing All Track Valley and Burning Crusade. If that makes sense, like, wait, what do I need to do? What was I doing? Travel to the Undercraft and recover the hammer. Oh. Well, I'm just reading this quest for a second because I totally thought that was false grave at the Undercraft. Undercroft. Oh, okay. Well, I will go back there. Oops. Oh, well. At least it's not too far away, I guess. I was really expecting that was what I needed to do. Was it? Was there like a thing I needed to click on in there, or was it like, is it something you dig up? Let's see. Taken to a false grave, right? So that kind of makes me assume that there was something I was supposed to click on for that. To the Undercroft. Okay. Uh. Did all that behind the crypt in the dirt? Okay, yeah. Still gotta four, kill four mobs? Okay. Oh, like the mobs come out. Gotcha. Like there's some additional ones that spawn once you like click on it or whatever. Four mobs. Well, I should really make sure I clear out that place then or else I will die again. Yeah. And thanks for stopping by and chatting by the way. I think we have some good conversation here. Oh, six. Yeah, there you go. Just have a 60 just help you out. That'll do it. Absolutely. What was a 60 doing? Were they mining or something? Like, why would they go all the way south like that, I wonder? Oh, sure, you know. Just have somebody to chill with. I got it. Yeah, Irving. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense. I was like, but... It's not too far off the road, but it's like, why would they? Why would somebody be over here? This is really interesting seeing, like, you know, look at this weird, you know, the weird tree, you know, like, uh, whenever you had the blight in Warcraft Three. Just take a take a moment to look at this weird tree that's all like corrupted by the blight. I know, and all like little mushrooms and stuff. I just like those little details, you know. It's like a. Like a very relevant zone, I guess. And it's got, it's got so much to do here. Like, I was in Blasted Lands. There are, like, no quests in Blasted Lands, right? Even though it's pretty important for the lore, you know? That's where the burning, uh, that's where the Dark Portal is. But there's just nothing there. Like, there's... I didn't look in Wildhead, so maybe I'm missing some quests. That's definitely possible, but like I, I went to Blasted Lands when I was, I think, the right level. And I just there was nothing there for me to do. I was really surprised. But there's a few zones like that, right? Like I know, of, of course, Ajara. There's very, very few quests in Ajara. I did the the Hunter class quest is there, but not too much else. There was like one quest in Ironforge that I saw to go into Ajara. It's like a neat zone. Serpent skin armor, is that worth anything? Maybe three gold? Nah, I'll probably just vendor that. Let's see if we can find a false grave. Okay, this is looking like a loose dirt mound. Okay, let's clear out. Clear out guys a little bit just so that we don't have any problems. And Ajara, uh, the, another thing about Ajara that I think of is like, that's where they, they had that, um, the commercial for the truck. 
I had like that Toyota Tacoma commercial. I don't know if you ever saw that. Like that, very silly. Where the the like they summon a truck to kill a dragon. I was just thinking about those the commercials they used to have back then. Like that was when WoW was in kind of its. It was still in the growth stage, right? So they were really trying to get people to be involved with it. So they did the advertising a lot more. Like these days, I, they did have a big one for WoW, didn't they? Have that thing in like New York. Uh, in Times Square or whatever. Okay. Okay. Come on, birdie. Please get some aggro. I love Screech, by the way. Like, I have... I love... Uh, owls are just great. Uh, for Screech. And it just does AoE threat, and it holds threat pretty well. And my owl is dead, and I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. So that's pretty bad. Those guys hurt a lot. I was not expecting that at all. Okay. All right. I trapped one. It didn't last very long. I don't think it lasted its full duration at all. That did not feel like 15 seconds. But traps are weird. I think they every time, like every couple seconds, there's a chance to for the trap to break. Do I just have to kill the one guy? If I kill the one guy, does it drop the hammer? Because that I might just focus him down then. And just say, whatever, for the other guys. Probably just do that. Because those guys, they did a lot of damage. I was really not expecting that much... That much damage to go down. I did have three on my pet. So I guess that's understandable. Let's see here. A lot of times I just uh, I just give it a shot like one time and see how things go and then like I try to think about what I can do better. Because a lot of times it's just like you just go in there and it's fine, right? But the times when you fail make you think a little bit like, oh, maybe I should do this a little bit differently. Oh, they're still there though. They're still spawned now. I don't know if that changes anything. My cooldowns, especially rapid fire. Oh, there they despawned, okay. Hmm. Well, I've got plenty of food for my pet, that's for sure. I was farming, I was doing the, you know, the beasts earlier, so. They dropped a lot of meat. Huh. Four guys. Yeah, I think I'll just... And stun the big guy, too. Because I didn't use Intimidate. Hmm. I can pull one on me. One on me should be okay. Just not the, not, not the, maybe not the named guy. And I imagine they're all linked too, right? I could always try to kite him a while. I could just kite him. I'm just going to kite him. I'm going to take him to the road and just do that, I think. Because that'll, that'll do it for, because if I only have to kill one guy, I can just kite until I can kill the one guy and then, uh, feign death and have them all run away. Just do my hunter shenanigans. See if there's a... The only thing I need to do is make sure that there's actually like a clear path to the road. Because the road's right here. Should be pretty simple. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get rid of that. One of those zombies. And then just take him to the road. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That way I don't really have to worry about dealing with all of them. Kiting is a thing that uh, is pretty uniquely hunter, right? Like, there's not a... Can any other class really kite to the extent that hunter can? I don't know. Like, can mages? They don't really... They just have, like, fire blast for, like, instant spells, right? Like, kind of cold? I don't know. They have slow... They, they certainly have slows, but, like, as far as, like... You know, if something can't be slowed, what are you going to do, right? They have, like, rank 1 Frostbolt with does a pretty slow, or pretty quick cast time. But yeah. Like, you don't see anybody kiting, like, what is it, Tyrannus, like the big dragon? You don't see, you don't see anybody about hunters doing that. How am I going to get through here, this gate? I don't want this gate to mess me up, actually. So I'm going to go like this, probably, and then over here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. 
Okay, let's try this one more time. Uh, maybe I'll put a frost trap down just to start off. Got health, got mana, pets got stuff. Okay, let's give that a shot. One thing I could potentially think about doing is like marking the named guy. Okay. Here we go. I'm out of range. Wow. <laughs> Are they slow or what? Usually I just wait till they're like in long range. I have a you know, I have this range finder here. So I usually wait until they're like in long range and then I'll start attacking again. Oh, there's a zombie. Hopefully the zombie's not like too fast or anything. Oh, his friends, his friends abandoned him. That is sad. That's just sad right there. Like, imagine. You're out here. You got your buddies. And you think that, like, everything's going to be fine. And they just abandon you. Okay. I mean, I could have, I could have kited him by, like, Taking the whole group eventually, it would have been fine, but it's just it's just kind of nice to do it with just him. Okay, good deal. I've done uh, I've done a couple of like elite quest spike hiding, and it, it just it always feels like really like really good whenever you do a successful kite. Like I did, there's um, there's like the the dragon the black dragons in Badlands that it uh, like uh, it's a little bit of a quest line. Yeah, that's how you should play Hunter. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of things you kite, but, you know, so, a lot of things that you kite, they're not going to destroy you that quickly, right? But, but some things you do, that will destroy you. Like, like the, the, the the dragons in Black and Badlands, the black dragons, and then, like, uh, Obsidian. and Yeah, sure, man. I'll probably be done by the time you get back. But, hey, good, good talking to you. Alright. On to turn this in. Probably gonna be done after that. Because that took quite a while just to do those like two quests. Two quests and it took. Golly. When did I start? I started like 10 and now it's one. It took like three hours to do those two quests. I got a little distracted with some stuff, but. Still quite a while. I Well, it wasn't two quests, it was like. Three quests plus another quest. And then technically talking to him was a quest, so talking to Tyrion. What's happening in my mouse? Alright. What do you got for me, Tyrion? I got your son's hammer here. He must be redeemed, yep. Uh, yeah, Uther is dying. I can see how that would be a pretty big problem for the Silver Hand, yep. Uh, just getting a little history lesson. Talon renounced the order. Oh no. Go to Northdale and get the, the banner. The northern, northeastern region of the Eastern Pluglands. Okay, so it's like a, it's a body of water or something, right? Northdale. So like here or here? Well, we'll go find it. Northeastern. This is like the entrance to Stratholm, somewhere around here. Right? Uh. All right. That was really fun. Got to explore old Iron Forge a little bit. Just, I don't know, just a silly little thing to do. Did some of the Tyrion Forging quest. But that's beside the point. I'm Brad Blondbeard. Good luck and have fun.